Welcome to today's How To with Paul. Today, we're gonna to be doing some gopher hunting. I'm gonna show you how to catch gophers. Okay, I just wanted to talk for a minute about using poisons to kill gophers or sonic traps, uh, both of which I do not recommend. Um, you do not wanna use poisons. The reason why you do not wanna use poisons is because when the animal eats the poison and it goes off somewhere and dies, it is a risk of another animal coming along, digging up that animal, eating the animal, and it then poisons that animal. It can also affect your pets. So if you have dogs, cats, anything that comes into your yard that may dig it up, you're also poisoning them. This is something people don't think about. You do not want to use poisons because no matter what, that animal that you have killed with the poison is now a risk of killing other animals as dead animals are often food for other wildlife. So think about that before you use poisons. Use these traps. This is how you do it. Also, sonic traps, I just want to talk about that for a moment. Sonic traps, all they do is push your problem onto somebody else. It's going to scare the animal away for a little while. It's going to make them go a different direction. Maybe they end up in your neighbor's yard. Maybe they end up, you know, right back in your yard, in your backyard instead of your front yard, vice versa. All it does is chase them away from the noise temporarily. Sooner or later, they get used to this noise and they are no longer afraid of it. They come back to that area. So trust me, the sonic traps not only are a waste of money because all you're doing is pushing the problem somewhere else, but it doesn't effectively kill the gophers. These things breed like crazy. They are pests. They can cause thousands and thousands of dollars of damage. They have cost me a lot of money. Um, so the only way to actually deal with these is actually to rid them. Watch this video. This is how you do them. Okay, folks, so this is the kill gopher traps I use. You can buy them on Amazon. They sell them at uh, Lowell's. Lowell's didn't have this type. Do It Center had this type, and I believe also uh, Home Depot has this type. And I'm just gonna show you how to set them really quick, but before I set them, most important is get yourself a piece of wire. Don't use rope, use wire because it's stronger and it's metal. Tie it to the outside of the frame. The reason for this is because the gophers will bury your trap and unless you wanna have to dig them out, you can just pull the string out and they come out with it. Again, use a piece of wire. You can get it anywhere, Home Depot, get a couple feet worth. And the reason why you take this wire and you have to put it on an anchor on the ground because sometimes they'll get caught and they'll run them back into the hole and bury them and then you lose your trap. So do this. Now I'm also gonna show you how to set them because a lot of people don't know how to set the traps. Okay, so the best thing to do, I'm wearing gloves because I'm covered in dirt because I've already done some work. I'll show you in a second. But basically you pinch this down and see those claws will, will open. Like that what I do is I put my thumb over that you pull this down okay this is what sets the trap once you've done that you can hold the whole trap it latches underneath there and then push this over that so it goes over those little clips there and then you're safe to let go of it keep your hands away from that simply the gopher comes along pushes this it snaps it kills them pretty simple okay so here's my gopher hole which you can see is much bigger than most gopher holes but when you see a mound, you start digging up the loose dirt. Once you dig to the loose dirt, you find the trail. You have to do this. You have to get the trap deep in there. If you don't get the trap nice and deep, you just stick them in the very hole, the very little hole, which you could have what is exactly what I found here. I had a little hole that started off over here. I dug that hole and found that it went to the main line, like a big main highway, like a big freeway. It has a big trail going that way and a big trail going that way. And what I've done is I've cleared out the hole. I use just a little potting shovel. You get in there, you dig around. You want a nice, good size hole because you want to be able to get your arm in there. Okay, and as you can see, I can get my arm all the way in that one. That's as far as I can get that one. But this one, I can get my arm way up in there and I could feel where it goes up this way and then it turns this way. So now I've got two major holes. Okay, so to correctly do this, take your already set trap Okay, and I'm gonna do this one first because it's not as deep, but the, I can feel the trail going there. It's just hard as a rock and I don't wanna dig anymore. I've been digging at this for quite a while. Okay, so you, carefully what you wanna do is put your thumb right on that so you don't set the trap off as you're doing it. Okay, see how my thumb is holding that trap still? You stick that in there and you wanna take this thing and you wanna stick it in there as deep as you possibly can. The deeper, the better. When it gets to your fingertips, try to shove it in even a little further, okay? and make sure your rope's still hanging out. That's why I told you about the rope, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna stake this with a screwdriver or a piece of wood or something so that if it does catch it, it can't just run down the hole with your trap. And also, when it does get caught, what you'll find is this mound will be filled up again. 
with loose dirt. As soon as you see a bunch of loose dirt built up here again, you've had a gopher come and visit. And chances are you probably got them. Okay, so this one, because I have one going each way, I'm gonna stick one deep into this hole. Also, just a note I forgot to mention, you wanna make sure that the direction of your hole, this hole is coming from this way, it exits here. So you wanna make sure that the points, the stabby parts here, are toward the hole and this is towards the back. The purpose for that is that when the gopher comes along and he tries to bury the hole, he goes across this and it sets the trap. Okay, so again, make sure you got your, your lanyard tied off. I take, I hold onto that. I put my thumb there just to hold that there. And I'm gonna stick this thing in there as deep as I possibly can. Okay, you can see I just set it off. So I have to set it again. And that happens just because you're rubbing the dirt and stuff like that with the trip part. That's why you keep your hands at the back. You won't get, you won't get bit by it. You just gotta keep your hands at the back. Don't stick your hands in there past it. Okay, so I'm gonna try again. It may take a few tries. Okay, I'm in there pretty darn deep. That was as deep as my arm could reach. And you can tell by how short my rope is now. So now I gotta come up with a, another spike to hold this. Just a little piece of wood work. And I'll probably take this out and just tie both of them to it. And a screwdriver, a piece of wood, anything that you could just drive into the ground and then just hook them onto that. Okay, that's, that's your traps are set. Now there's an also very important part of this that a lot of people aren't aware of. The most important part is if you leave the trap like this, they will never come this way. They don't want sunlight, they don't want air. So you have to cover the trap. I just take a couple pieces of wood and cover the hole. Okay, and I may have to get a third one to cover the hole. You wanna cover the hole as best as possible. So I may have to get another one because I'm a little bit short. So I'll put another, another one there, but you don't have to watch the video for that. But you wanna close it off the best as possible Otherwise, the gophers can sense that there's air coming out there and they won't come back this way. Okay, that's it. Check them every couple days. What you do is you come back out, you take your wood off, you'll see the loose dirt. If you see the loose dirt, pull the trap out. You probably have a gopher. If you don't, clear out the holes again, clear out all the loose dirt as far as you can reach, reset the trap, put the trap backs in the hole, cover everything back up. You'll get them sooner or later. Usually it only takes, usually it takes me a day or two before I get them but it all depends on how soon they want to come back to this area. And when there is one gopher, there is always many more. Keep clearing out the hole, keep setting the trap until you don't see any gophers for more than two weeks because all these holes are all connected throughout our neighborhood. That means that your gopher on the other side over there could come here. And if everybody does this, we'll get rid of the gophers.